In this video, we will cover the features of the Tasky Manager. Welcome to the Open Sidewalks project. Open Sidewalks uses open source tools developed by OpenStreetMap. Mapping an OpenStreetMap is a team effort, continually growing due to a community of hundreds of thousands of dedicated global contributors. This video series will focus on the Open Sidewalks Tasky Manager which simplifies the mapping and enables teams of local mappers to collaborate on a specific area of their community. This video is only an introduction on how to use the Open Sidewalks Tasky Manager to map pedestrian pathway features in OpenStreetMap. We invite you to explore Open Sidewalks and OpenStreetMap guides as you continue to advance your mapping skills. To get started, open up a browser window and go to tasks.opensidewalks.com. This video will go over the features of the Open Sidewalks Tasky Manager. The Tasky Manager is the most popular tool to team up and coordinate mapping in OpenStreetMap. The Tasky Manager is one software in the whole OpenStreetMap ecosystem. When you are contributing to OpenStreetMap using the Tasky Manager, you are actually using multiple software tools. First, you are using OpenStreetMap.org, a database of geographic information. The second piece of it is the Tasky Manager which is a tool that we use to coordinate collaborative mapping on OpenStreetMap data in the same area. The third part of the software stack is an OpenStreetMap editor. In this case, we're going to be using the ID editor, a software program that can read and write data into the OpenStreetMap database. This video contains four parts. In the first part, you will learn how to create an OpenStreetMap account and how to change your Tasky Manager profile settings. In the second part, we will find a mapping project review project information, and check project history. In the third part, we will contribute to the project using the Project Tasks page. We will select the mapping task as well. In the fourth part of this series, we will review task history, review task instructions, and the process of task completion. Let's start by creating our OpenStreetMap account. Click on Login in the upper right-hand corner. A Login dialog box will pop up where you can enter your username and password if you already have an account. Since we're trying to create one, we're going to go ahead and click on Register Now. You will be redirected to the sign-up page. Complete the sign-up form by entering an email address, a display name, and a password. Then scroll down and click Sign Up. Alternatively, you can use a third party to log in. You will then be presented with the terms of use. Select which area of the world you reside in. Scroll through the terms. Agree to the terms. And click on continue. You will then receive a verification asking you to check your inbox. You should receive an email in which there will be a verification link that you will need to use before you are able to log in. Once you log in, you will see a dialog box pop up asking to authorize access to your account. You will be granting access so that the Open Sidewalks Tasking Manager can use your OpenStreetMap account to make changes to the global map. Before we start mapping, let's take a moment to change your Tasky Manager profile settings. To change your Tasky Manager settings, click on your username at the top right of the page. In your profile page, you will see the level of expertise you have gained in mapping. You will be able to set up particular interests that you want to follow. This is also the place where you can update your email address and social media handles. You can set the language that you prefer. You should take a moment to select which notifications you wish to receive. Your email address is never revealed in the platform. And so the only way that you will receive notifications is by setting these on. You will receive an email notification when you are mentioned in a comment. You can also see your change set history here and edit your OpenStreetMap profile. When you click on change set history, you are redirected to OSM Chop, which is where all the changed logs for OpenStreetMap data are kept.
We are now ready to start mapping. Click on Explore Projects at the top of the page. You will then see a partial list of the projects. Please keep in mind that this results list is paginated. If you know the number of the project you want to work on, you can enter it in Search Projects and be taken directly to it. You can also search on text from within the project description. Once you have located a project of your interest, clicking on it will take you to the overview page for that project. To contribute to this project and find a mapping task, you will need to click on Contribute at the bottom of the page. You are now in the Project Tasks page. This is your main screen for working on a project. The screen is divided into two parts. The left section is a tab panel with tabs for Tasks, Instructions, and Contributions. Make sure you read and understand all of the information before you start mapping. When checking a task marked as complete, validators will expect that the requirements from the Instructions tab have all been completed. The Tasks tab is a list of tasks which can be filtered according to all, available for mapping, ready for validation, or unavailable. The Contributions tab contains a record of the contributions done by fellow mappers on this project. The right side of the screen is a map showing the tasks, often polygons, colored according to their status. Tasks that are available to you can be selected by clicking on them. You can use the mouse wheel to scroll in, or you can use the plus and minus signs at the top right of the screen. The uncolored tasks are ready and available for mapping. Pale blue means that they're ready for validation. Yellow, more mapping needed. And green means that the task has been mapped and validated, and there is no more work needed. Projects are divided into a set of tasks that are manager in size and adapted to your skill level. The role of the tasking manager is to present a specific geographic region and divide it up into small mapping areas called tasks. These can be locked by a mapper to avoid that other contributors map the same objects, introduce duplicated data, or run into conflicts. The button Map a Task will lock a random task for you and is the best option to choose when mapping at a mapathon or when a large number of people are working on a project at the same time. There may be also situations where you prefer to make your personal task selection using the map. But in either case, you will reach the stage where your task is locked. You can also find a task by its ID number. Click on Tasks and filter using that ID number. Click on the task to lock it. There are other aspects of this panel that are very useful as well. You can click on See Task History to see the activity in the past for that task. You can also leave a comment. Clicking on the zoom map to the task will augment the map to the right. And clicking on the chain link will copy the task ID URL to the clipboard. Click on Map Selected Task to be redirected to the mapping dashboard. We have now selected a task in the Tasking Manager and have proceeded to map it. This is the Open Sidewalks Tasking Manager mapping interface. The dashboard is divided into three parts. On the left hand side, we see a mapping interface with a map background and some map features. The task boundary appears as a magenta polygon at the center of the ID editor interface. If we select the feature, the left hand panel will update to show us the attributes that have been documented for that feature. The right hand panel is the one that we're most interested in discussing in this video. This is the task level information. It shows the project number and the task ID. Before starting to map, please always first read the comments in the History tab, which will show you all the activities that have taken place for this task in the past. 
you should also review the task instructions. The instructions tab is where you can refer to the task instructions again if you cannot remember some details, perhaps about tags to use for certain features or what to do about imagery before you continue with your mapping. In a separate video, we will go over the process of task completion. You will indicate why you have left this task, such as you have completed the required mapping or you were unable to finish it for some reason. Here, you will find access to specific task information, providing you guidelines for what types of tags you should use for the pedestrian features that you are about to map. This completes a series of our overview on how to navigate the Tasking Manager. In a separate video, we will discuss how to use the ID Editor to map pedestrian pathway features. Open Sidewalks is an open data project by the Tasker Center for Accessible Technology through the Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of Washington.